What is up, guys? Here we are today. Grenadier Shatterer post patch. So both of these units have been, well, I want to say buffed, but they've both been like side graded because Gren's got an extra 10 cost, but also got faster. I think this is a buff. I think the 10 cost is easily worth the extra speed. Like, I don't, I don't think that's close. I think the extra speed, what, well, the other way around. The extra speed is easily worth the extra 10 cost. Like, speed is a huge factor in power level. So I think that is a buff. Uh, Shatterer got completely changed. Again, it's faster than it used to be, but just the way it functions is a lot different now. Um, so I don't know if the Shatterer is better or worse yet. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll play some Grand Shatterer and we'll see how it goes. Okay, I guess we can open rifles every game. Okay, we're 1 0, let's go. Enemy base destroyed. No, I'm not. 3, 2, 1. New objective. Alright, rifles first. Riflemen, lead the way. Harvester ready. And opponents on laser first. Unit ready. Let's gun them down. Yes, you're right, copycat. You're right. There is no there is no chat on the screen. There's no ability to have chat on the screen because there's no integration on Provo. Also makes it harder for me to have a chat box. It is unfortunate. Okay, this guy's gone flamers. So I can go Shatterer or Talon. I'm gonna go Shatterer for two reasons. Firstly, I, I like Shatterer. I wanna make Shatterer, I think it's gonna be fun. And secondly, opening this building gives me access to pit bulls, which Talon would not. Yeah, you see there's a buggy there. I, if I had, uh, if I opened the air tower, I wouldn't be able to fight the buggy very well. Although my, like, triple rifle is kind of wailing on him. Look at that buggy going, man. That buggy's getting wrecked by the rifleman. Okay, so there's a tank. Tank is a unit that we only really have Grens to answer. The tank is going to be a bit of a problem. This is one of the big issues I have with Grenadiers. Um, it's really difficult to chase down a tank. Like, Tank has Raider, so it's going to get loads of value just from driving around and shooting stuff. Because it has Raider, so it's like impossible to stop it doing that. Grens don't have Raider. So the way Grens work is you have to put them somewhere, and then have your opponent be forced to move into them. Which works at the end of the missile, but doesn't really work any other time. So, during, during the course of the normal game, it's quite hard to force your opponent to interact with your Grenadiers. Like, here the missile is about to end, so this guy has to use his, uh, he has to send his tank in. But now he's killed off the, the Grens with the Flamers, so, I mean, it's fine, we have the Shatter, we're gonna win easily, but... Yeah, like, he doesn't have, like, if he has the tank, he can, until near the end of the missile, he can just run away from my Grens. Objective complete. Three, two, one. New objective available. All right. Easy rifles first. Up against Kane. Killer Kane. Gotta watch out. He hasn't done anything. Killer Kane, my dude. What's going on? Alright, well, I'm gonna make some missiles and go after his base. The quickest way to win a game against someone who isn't there is missile spam. Okay, he's alive again. There's the half. Let's push up. And there's a Chuggy, of course. We'll just go Grenz against the Chuggy. We get first missile pretty easily here. Man, did we lose a Gren? Wow, we lost a Gren. It was like a half hit point Chuggy on offense, and we still lost a Gren model. Mm. This is kind of the problem with Grenz. Like, like I was saying last time, you just can't really run into Raider units. You can't chase them down. Like, he isn't... I don't know why he isn't retreating. He could have just run away from my grenadiers there. And these things cost 70, which is a lot. Well, I mean, this game is almost over, but yeah. I just don't, I don't really see, like, Grenz and Predator are so similar in their role and they have the same cost. Like, one of them is probably better, and I think that, I think the Predator is still better. Like, a, a Raider vehicle is better than an Infantry that doesn't Raider. 
Mission accomplished. Yeah, copycat is pointing out that the difference is that Grens are fast and Predator is slow. And that is a valid point. Like, speed is very good. Um, but if you can't utilize that speed because your opponent can just run away from you, then I don't think it really matters that much that you've got it. Like, if you... I mean, obviously, there's other factors to speed. Like, you get to the pads quicker is a big deal. And it is easier to run down slower vehicles like Titans or whatever. So I'm not trying to suggest that speed isn't a big deal, because it is a huge deal. Um, I just think that Raider makes up for the speed. One of the main reasons the Grens, one of the main advantages the Grens have is you can open rifles and have access to Grens right away. So in a spot like this, I can immediately harass his Harvester with Grens. Um, so that is an upside, that is definitely a big upside, and it gets there way faster. Like if this Gren was a Predator, it would be miles away still. It wouldn't be close to getting to the to the harvester. So that is also a big upside. So that, I'm, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to just like you know I'm not trying to just say that Gren suck. There are definitely massive upsides. I just think that in the course of a of a of a long game, um, the predator tank probably still comes out on top. But it's definitely a lot closer than it used to be now that Gren's are like actually really quick. Not really sure what to make here. I guess I'll make some more Grens, but I can have a Shatterer just for Shattering purposes. Why did he? Oh, he boosted them to kill the Grens, didn't he? Probably shouldn't have boosted there because I haven't really got a lot of spare cash. And if he makes like a Kodiak, then I want to be able to make a Talon. I'm guessing Titan. Although I have Grens, but it's Kodiak. <laughs> What a amusing event. Run, Shatterer, run! Oh my god. What a gigantic beating. Wow, this Kodiak is so beefy. I don't really think Kodiak's very good, but the beefiness of the Kodiak is extreme. That thing has a lot of hit points. Destroyed. Because it wasn't I guessed Kodiak Axaton, it's that that's the one I didn't have an answer to right away. So I was like, if I if I if he Kodiaks, I need to tell him, which is the reason I need money. Muk Jobber. Big fan of this guy's name. Big fan. Alright, so he's gonna harvest the rifles. I'm gonna move off the pad, stop him from stalling. And onto the pad. I'll go on both pads, wait and see what his war factor is gonna be. I'm predicting buggy, maybe chuggy though. If it's buggy, I think I'll Gren. Okay, well now, now he's uh, gonna spawn some more rifles. rifles. It is chuggy, okay. Against chuggy, I wanna go vehicles. I don't wanna have to try and use Grens against chuggy. And I want to stall because Chuggy is gonna Chuggy is gonna dominate for a little while. Chuggy's gonna be the dominant unit on the field for for a period of time. I don't want the missile charging. All right, we've cut off the Chuggy. We're gonna take it out. Now we can easily fire the missile. Cool. Very nice. We're gonna get some Grens and try and get them into defensive position because we've got some time to do that now. I'm actually gonna get pretty aggro with these Grens. And let's see how much damage the Grens take. Okay, so I basically lost my Grens. I know I was aggressive with them, and I understand it's cost. But that was a low hit point Chuggy, and the Grens got absolutely dumpstered by it. Grens, I think, just don't have enough hit points. That's that's my uh, that's my read on it. They just need, like, a little bit more hit points. Man, these Chuggies. These Chuggies. I want this guy to die, that's why I'm leaving him in the cloud. Now I'm gonna get a fresh shatter up. Okay, looks like we win pretty easily here. Move up in case there's more units coming. Alright, very nice. Objective complete. Three, two, one. 
Ludosp 2. Whatever happened to Ludosp 1? I always think it's really funny when you see these names in Rivals that have like the number or whatever. Because there's no duplicate name protection in Rivals. Like there's nothing to stop you from having the same name as someone else. Like if you guys all wanted to, you could all create a one free laid account. There's nothing to stop you. There's nothing to stop you having the same name. So having like these random numbers at the end because these people just expect their name not to be usable. It's always pretty funny. Like, they, they clearly haven't even tried. They haven't even tried whatever name. I mean, okay, just to be clear, in case Ludosp is watching, maybe he wants to be Ludosp too. In which case, fair enough, and I take back everything I've just said. Like, maybe he's like, no, no, my name is Ludosp too. And, like, Paphlagon too, right? There's a guy called Paphlagon too. His friend is Paphlagon. So he named himself Paphlagon too when his buddy got him into the game. If that's the case, then everything I'm saying doesn't apply to you, and never mind. Wow, this Shatter is doing surprisingly good damage to my Pitbull. Look at this. It's like half killing my Pitbull. Anyway, yeah, so if the, if, you, if that is the case, then, then what I'm saying doesn't apply to you. But if you have put a string of characters or numbers at the end of your name because you thought your name was going to be taken, then I'm sorry to tell you, you could have in fact just had whatever name you wanted. <laughs> there was nothing to stop you from having whatever name you wanted. Alright, anyway, back to the game. Let's get some Talons, because he's making Orca. I kind of want to make Gren for the Shatterers, but I don't know how Gren will do against the Shatterer. I'm going to boost the Gren and park it over here and see if it whams when the Shatterer moves in. It looks like the game's going to be over too soon. I think the Gren's boosted with Annihilate. Yeah, look. They, wow, they crushed it. I mean, obviously it was like Half-Life, but oh my god, they crushed it. Oh, it's Bro, watch this. This guy's name is great. I'm pretty sure this guy plays like triple tech. I, I'm i like 90% sure that I have been crushed by him when I play some of my challenges. I, like I said, not, not 100%, but I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he's triple tech and I have been crushed by him when I'm, when I'm playing bad decks before because he just gets to tech and annihilates me. But yeah, I think this guy is, is not, not bad at the game. Yeah, there's the double half. Oh, is he gonna pop cap me? Oh, dude, why you gotta be like that? I thought we were gonna have a nice game of rivals. It's a shame. That is a shame. So uh, the reason I tech switched into Talon is because I wanted to have some. I wanted to fire the missile ASAP. Yeah, he is gonna pop cap me. Oh, come on, man. If you're if you're watching this video, bro, watch this. I'm very disappointed in you, man. Very disappointed. Okay, I guess we make Pitbull for the Wolverine. I don't know if Gren's can beat a Wolverine, but I assume not. The Talon on the Orca. And you bait him into killing my rifle. Got him! Uh oh. Uh oh. Alright, cool. Fully deserved. How dare you pop cap me, sir. Alright, we're up against Nate Dog. Um, so in one of my videos previously, I mentioned about how Alistair Overeem is in fact the real Alistair Overeem. And it's been confirmed. Like, it's it's definitely him. It's been confirmed. Bike Grush spoke to him on Instagram and so on, and we've seen him playing rivals in documentaries. This guy, I'm pretty sure, is not actually Nate Dog, sadly. But Nate Dog, if you watch my YouTube and this is you, we would absolutely love to hear from you, man. That would be that would be super cool if it was in fact Nate Dog. But yeah, pretty sure, pretty sure this isn't Nate Dog, unfortunately. 
So I'm gonna keep making rifles for now, and then we're gonna go shatter her when we can afford it. We have a buggy. Buggy and a gun. Let's, uh, let's block it out. Should be able to just fire the missile here. Oh my god, my blocking is so bad on blue stacks. Alright, gonna have to boost this pit bull to save the day. Or try and save the day, I should say. This is not looking good. Oof, man. Really messed this one up. Gonna move this over here to protect my missiles from the flames, or at least try. I really need a shatterer. Come on, shatterer. Come on. Alright, there's the shatterer. Get the missiles to go around the back. Block, 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 block! Oh, my blocking is so bad on blue stacks. Maybe, maybe I'm just terrible at blocking. Maybe that's the issue. Maybe it's nothing to do with blue stacks. Maybe it's just me. Although I have played games on mobile where I had no problem blocking, so <laughs> I feel like it is probably the old blue stacks. Um, so this is going to be a huge weakness of this deck. Flamer plus tank. Basically any any tank plus anti-vehicle infantry. Oh, sorry, anti-infantry infantry is going to be a problem. Because I have to use shatterers to kill them. And then I can't use... Oh, look at that hover. Look at that OP hover. Yeah, I have to use shatterer to kill the flames. And then tanks will kill my shatterer. And that's going to be a big problem. Sorry, I'm just focusing. I'm a little bit distracted. You see how the Grens like only get one hit on the tank before it gets away? That's kind of one of the big issues with Grens. Go, Shatterer! Do work! Let's go! Yes, Shatterer, yes! Alright, looks like we win. That's full. All right, well, my chat has informed me that Nate Dog passed away in 2011. So, I didn't know this, and this is very upsetting to me and has ruined my day. So, yeah, thanks for that chat. Very disappointing to learn. Okay, well, I guess back to the game sad now. Up against Turkey Nuts. Pretty weird name. Um, he's made a lot of rifles so far. I don't think he can possibly have a harvester with the amount of units he's made. So we want to stall for sure. And go quick shatterer because he's making these shock troopers. It's going to be pretty tough for him to beat this shatterer because he spent all his money on shots. I'm gonna make a. Why am I making a pit bull? I, I made a pit bull like because I figured he was gonna make a vehicle for my shatterer. But like, what vehicle can he make? He has no money. That's his own pit bull. But like, obviously, yeah, my preemptive pit bull was kind of nonsense. No reason, no real reason to make it. Uh, what am I doing? I'm not making units for some reason. <laughs> I'm just completely, yeah, completely thrown. Completely thrown. Okay, now we're winning the missile again. Okay, now it looks like we win the missile. There we go, cool. Okay, it's going to be really difficult for him to win from here because he's no half GDI and no half GDI is very bad. If you're gonna know half GDI, it has to be with MG, I think. That's the only unit powerful enough to make up for the lack of money. Get some Grens out. Yeah, the problem, this is the problem with Grens, I think, is it's very hard to get more than one attack off on a retreating vehicle. So they're not good at chasing at all. Whereas obviously a Predator can just follow a unit along and, and take it out. Lost. So, yeah. I don't really know what the solution to that is. Like, the attack animation is a little bit too slow, I think. Takes a little bit too long for the for the first grenade to hit and, in, 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 and give the EMP effect. Objective complete. Two. 
All right, last game of Grens and the Shatter, right? Still not really liking the Grens. It's just the way the Grens work. I don't really enjoy it. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure why mutants feel much better than Grens. Because the, the mutants are only slightly better stats than Grens. But they just feel like a way stronger unit. I don't know if it's the supporting cast or something like that. Like maybe maybe Nod just has better units to go with mutants than GDI does to go with Grens. But yeah, for some reason it just really doesn't feel like uh, really doesn't feel like Grens are anywhere near as good as mutants. I should probably go Talon soon, but I don't have the money for it yet, so I'm gonna keep making pitfalls for now. Like, this, this Nod Air stuff has always been bad versus Pitfalls. This is one of the reasons I never really liked the, the Triple Air Nod decks, because they're so bad versus Pitfall. And now that Laser Drone has been nerfed as well, it's like even worse. So now I don't think it's even that good against Nod. It used to be that you could spam Laser Drones and beat uh, beat all of Nod War Factory. But now Laser Drones aren't very good, so... I don't know, man. I think this kind of deck is pretty bad now, the one he's playing. Like, he hasn't shown me a unit that can actually beat Pitbulls yet, so I could just have been making only Pitbulls. And I'd be winning pretty easily, I imagine. Yeah, I mean, this guy just can never beat Pitbulls. Alright then, cool. There you go, 10-0 with Gren Shatterer. Um... I mean, Grens and Shatterers. Shatterer feels okay now, but I think it's still worse than a lot of the air anti-infantry options, and probably worse than snipers. Um, Grens feel better than they did, but I think they're still they're still such a like you have to choose between them and Predator a lot of the time. If there were decks that didn't have any War Factory, then maybe Gren would be like a good option in that deck. But the way the game plays, like the way Rivals works, the way the deck building works. You pretty much always have Barracks and War Factory. And then a lot of decks also have an air unit or some tech units or something. But like Barracks War Factory is the most common build for every single deck. It's really uncommon to have a deck with no War Factory or with no Barracks and have it be successful. So because you have to play the War Factory anyway, it's like you might as well just play the Predator instead of the Grants. Like they just compete for the same spot. If there were decks that were like this, for example, where you just played like two buildings, or if you're playing a deck like this or something, where you're like an air barracks tech deck, then maybe Grens have a place. But I think those decks are just generally going to be worse than your War Factory, your War Factory barracks with an air splash type deck. So those tend to be the best. Okay, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that and I'll see you next time.